Hi guys, oh, welcome back to a brand new episode of Getting Saucy with Chef Cheryl. I'm here at Gerhardt's Appliances in Glenside, Pennsylvania. And today I wanted to do a little bit of our holiday playlist with you guys. Thanksgiving is coming up and it's our favorite holiday to eat, eat, and eat some more. So I wanted to do just some quick, simple, less than five ingredient sides for you guys to get onto the table this Thanksgiving. So here I have one cup of water and one cup of sugar coming to a boil. This is gonna be the base of our cranberry sauce. Now I know a lot of people are used to the jellied cranberry sauce, but this is so easy, so fast, and has such a pure cranberry taste, I'm positive that you're gonna love it. So all I have here is 12 ounces of cranberries. You can buy whatever brand you'd like, and I'm gonna add these to the pot. We're gonna bring those to a boil. And what's gonna happen is the cranberries are gonna pop open, and they're gonna release all their juice and create almost like um, a sauce, a thick sauce, not like a jelly, but a perfectly thick, delicious sauce that you're absolutely gonna love. So I'm just gonna add these right in. I'm gonna give them a stir so we can get them all coated in the sugar and water. And then we're gonna let them go for about 10 minutes. While that's happening, let's move on to our second side. So in my skillet today, I have four tablespoons of butter. It's all melted down. And to that, I'm going to add some sliced carrots. Now I know carrots are a classic side on many people's tables for Thanksgiving. So here I have a pound of carrots. I've kept them nice and long. They make a beautiful presentation this way. So I'm just gonna lay my carrots right into their pan. And here I have in front of me a little bit of brown sugar. So I'm using dark brown sugar. You can use light brown if you'd like. So this is about a cup. So I'm gonna use about three quarters of that. I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over my carrots give them a beautiful caramelization. And for an extra special treat, what we're gonna add to them is pecans. You can add walnuts, um, you can add almonds if you'd like, but I love the holiday feel of a pecan. So the pecans are also gonna get candied while they're in the pan. So absolutely everyone knows how delicious that is. If you'd like to add spices here, you can add your warm spices like cinnamon or nutmeg. But what I like to do is once they caramelize completely, I like to get them all mixed in that beautiful glaze and just put a little bit of fresh herb on top. It really brings something to the dish. So the reason we're gonna go on to our Thanksgiving playlist this week, next week will be our Thanksgiving pies. Make sure you tune in. The reason we're going into our Thanksgiving playlist is everybody knows it's holiday time and it's time to get together. I'm sure that you're thinking is your kitchen ready and Gerhards is always ready for you to come down and get ready with us. Our experts can help you find the brand new appliance that you need so that you're ready for everybody to come and visit your home. It's the best time of year. So allow us to be a part of that. All month long, we're running our Black Friday specials. So it's the cheapest prices. So make sure you stop in and see us. So I'm gonna let this caramelize and I will be back to you guys to show you the final product. Okay guys, welcome back. So our cranberries have been on for about roughly six or seven minutes. And what's happened is that sugar water has turned into a beautiful glaze that's gonna set up even further when you leave it on your table, okay? So we're just gonna get this into our dish. I'm gonna show you guys how beautiful and red. Oh, absolutely gorgeous, pure flavor of the fruit. I think you guys are going to love it. So I'm just gonna empty that right into my serving dish. I chose a white serving dish for the juxtaposition of color. I think it's beautiful. So let's turn off our heat on that one. Move this out of our way. And then we'll move on to our carrots. So our carrots have been going the whole time and what's happened is our butter and our brown sugar has created a delicious glaze. So let's take a peek and see how they're doing. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, it smells like a million bucks. I wish you guys could smell it. So what I'm gonna do is again, I'm just gonna plate up. I'm going to make sure I give my carrots a stir, get them all covered in that gorgeous glaze that we made. And then I'm gonna pour them into our white dish right here. Nice and simple. Let me make sure I got a good grip on the pan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let some of that glaze go into the bottom. Okay, perfect, just like that. And then I'm going to take my tongs and I'm gonna move each, I'm sorry, I'm going to take my slotted spoon and I'm gonna move my carrots into my pan. Now these are so gorgeous and rustic, you guys. Leaving them whole like this is so much of a simple step that can make your dish look 
so presentable and gorgeous when it goes on that Thanksgiving table. And isn't that what we all want? A gorgeous Thanksgiving table. All right. So we'll get these all plated up. Make sure you save some of those nuts in the bottom of that pan so they can get poured straight over these carrots because they bring so much beauty and crunch and flavor to the dish. So there we go, we got all of our carrots out. And then we're gonna take the rest of that glaze, get them piled up nice and high so everybody can see what they're waiting for. And then we're gonna take the rest of that glaze from the bottom of the pan. We're just gonna simply run our spatula across it and we'll give it a nice drizzle straight over. Oh, beautiful. Okay, turn off our heat. And now this is the part where I like to add a little bit of fresh herb. This is the time where you can add, you can top yours with a little bit of cinnamon or maybe some fresh grated nutmeg. And here we go. And give some herbs. Here I just have a flat parsley. I'm sorry, I have a curly parsley, not a flat leaf Italian, just for the beauty of this dish. And voila, simple as that. So five ingredients or less, our cranberries only had three, and two beautiful dishes, no hassle for Thanksgiving Day while you're busy making that gorgeous turkey. Make sure you make yourself some glazed carrots and some beautiful fresh cranberry sauce. And until next week, I hope you guys stay saucy. See you then.